come to the third problem now. If a machine can lift an object with a mass of 100 kilograms, a distance of 12 meters in eight seconds, calculate the power of this machine in watts. So you're given a certain mass that you can lift, 12 meters in eight seconds. We're assuming that you are lifting it at constant speed. What is the power uh, measured in watts? If the same machine operating at the same power lifts a 30 kilogram mass for eight seconds with constant speed, what is its final height, okay? So we're gonna use the equation power, remember is work divided by time, okay? And what is the work that you are doing here? You're lifting the mass at constant speed, so you basically, the work is equal to the weight of the mass times the height divided by T, right? <clears throat> so uh, we could say, in order so that you don't uh, confuse the symbols, this is work, and then this is the weight of the mass, right? So you have a certain mass, that's mg, you have to exert a force equal to that mg, right? Equal mg, which is w, right? Its weight. So you have to exert a force equal to its weight and lift it a certain distance, right? So uh, since uh, weight is equal to mg, let's write it mgh. Well, of course, mgh is equal to what? That's the potential energy, right? So you're giving that mass a certain potential energy as a result of lifting it, right? So it's equal to, uh, its mass is 100 times 9.8 times, uh, what's the height? 12 meters divided by the time, 8 seconds, right? So we go uh, 100 times 9.8 times 12 divided by 8, 1,470. watts. So the power of that machine is 1,470 watts. Okay? Now, if you lift, uh, the same machine is operating at the same power, lifts a 30 kilogram mass for 8 seconds with constant speed, what would its final height be? Well, since it has less mass and you're operating at the same power, you're going to be able to lift it longer, right? So. To answer that part, what we what would we do? We would put here 30. The height we don't know. And that's equal to 1470, right? So you could just calculate for h this time. So this one goes over there. So what's the answer here? 8 times 1470. And then this one divide into it, right? So you basically have uh, 8 times uh, 1470 divided by, this goes over there, and then the 39.8 comes down. Which is 40, okay? Now, the easier way that we could have done it over there, we could have said, well, since the mass is the only thing that's different, and the time is the same, that means it would be a ratio of the masses, right? You could do a kind of a ratio thing. You say, okay, what's the ratio of 100 kilogram to uh, 30 kilogram? Where is the mass here? 30 kilogram. And that would be the ratio of the new height divided by uh, the ratio of the original height, 12. So you go like that, 120 divided by 3, h is equal to 40. So the new height is going to be uh, uh, larger, right? You're going to be able to lift that mass uh, larger height. Now, what if the time was different? What if it had said, if the same machine operating at the same power lifts a 30 kilogram mass for uh, five seconds with constant speed, what is its final height, right? Then you have to uh, take into account that the time is now a little bit shorter, even though the mass is also less, so what would you do? You would put five here, right? And then you would put 30, 9.8, and then 1470, and you would get what? You would get five over here. And now what would the answer be? Now it would be five times 1470 
divided by 30, divided by 9.8, you get 25. 25 meters, which is actually still more than the 12 meters, right? So it's again a, basically a, a, a ratio thing because you, have, you are lifting less mass, you are lifting uh, for less time here, but the ratio of the masses is still more than the ratio of the times, right? If you're lifting it only for two seconds, then perhaps the answer is going to be less than uh, 12, uh, 2 meters. So it would, uh, it would depend on the numbers, basically. Okay? So that's how you solve that.